This morning, another vaccine could soon be on the way. The latest from the FDA. Plus, we're helping you support local black-owned businesses this holiday season. And one more week until Christmas, one more chance for snow here in southern Wisconsin. All of the details coming up. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. We made it. It's December 18th, just about a week until Christmas. I'm Leah Lynchide. And I'm Chris Stanford. Thanks for joining us. Another vaccine option may be available for Americans soon. Josh Spider is tracking the latest on this developing story. Good morning, Josh. Hey guys, good morning. Keeping a close eye on this. Right now, the FDA advisory panel is recommending Moderna's coronavirus vaccine be authorized for emergency use. The FDA says it will work rapidly to authorize Moderna's vaccine. Nearly 6 million doses could start shipping out as soon as today, depending on when it is approved. Moderna's vaccine doesn't require the ultra cold storage that Pfizer's does, meaning it can better reach rural communities. If approved, the U.S. would be the first country to approve Moderna's vaccine and be the first country with two approved vaccines. Moderna says it'll offer its vaccine to trial participants who received a placebo. In a letter to participants, Moderna says that they can be unblinded. That is, they can learn whether they've been vaccinated or they can remain blinded to help the company track the long-term effects of the vaccine during its two-year trial. Blinding is the gold standard really for trials, but Moderna tells the FDA it can gather data with COVID-19 tests instead. Aside from the vaccine, Wisconsin has a new tool to help stop the spread. The state will roll out a voluntary smartphone app that will alert users if they've been in close contact with another user who's tested positive. The free Wisconsin Exposure Notification app uses Bluetooth, so it doesn't collect device location and users can stay anonymous. A COVID tracking expert at UW who helped build the app says the more people who use it, the more effective it will be. It makes it convenient for people to notify others uh, that they've tested positive. Or if you've been around somebody else who's tested positive, there's an opportunity for buy-in there. Uh, people might download it because they would want to know if they came across somebody who had tested positive. The app will be available next Wednesday in your Google Play Store for Android users. Apple users can opt in through their iPhone privacy settings. In Wisconsin, the state health officials say 51 more people have died in the last 24 hours. There are also 3,300 new cases and 129 new hospitalizations. We are seeing some improvements. According to DHS, the majority of Wisconsin's counties are at very high activity levels for disease spread. 17 counties remain at critically high levels. A Wisconsin retirement home for nuns is experiencing a serious outbreak. Within one week, eight women have now died. Wonderful women, and um, again, they were mentors. I know they were mentors and wisdom figures for me and for so many of us. Deborah Ciano is the leader at the School Sisters of Notre Dame. For the last nine months, they've been untouched by the pandemic while they followed CDC guidelines to a T. But to lose eight of them so quickly, just a few weeks before Christmas, is a big blow. They're women that I have known. I live in the Milwaukee area, and um, I've known them um, all of my 40-plus years in the community. Uh, so they've been role models for me. Between the eight women, Ciano says they have over half a millennium of service to the community. 88 other women live at the School Sisters of Notre Dame. They are all now isolating and being tested twice a week to try and contain the outbreak. Here's a question we get a lot. If you've already had COVID-19, do you still need the vaccine? UW Health's Dr. Jeff Pothoff says the simple answer is yes. He says the vaccine may provide better long-term immunity. Even if you have COVID antibodies from being positive, you should still get those shots. Uh, they basically use a genetic recipe uh, that tells your own cells how to make the spike protein only of coronavirus uh, so that your immune system can react to it uh, and give you protection. Hospitals across the country and here in Madison have also been making a surprising discovery as they dole out the first doses of the Pfizer vaccine. While the vials are supposed to hold five doses in total, pharmacists say they've discovered more, up to as much as seven. When it finally comes time for you to get vaccinated, you may not need to worry about finding a ride. Uber says they have you covered. Uber plans to offer 10 million free or discounted rides to help end the pandemic. 
According to USA Today, the app is currently partnering with community organizations to figure out who needs a ride. Great news there. 604 as we check in with Hattie McLean. How's the forecast looking, Hattie? Forecast is looking pretty good. We have a couple of chances for precipitation between now and the holidays, and we'll detail those right now. Let's take a look. We have three things that you need to know. There is the potential for a mix tonight, late tonight into Saturday morning for parts of South Central and Southwestern Wisconsin. Not looking at any major accumulations, but just keep that in mind. We do have one more chance for some snow before Christmas, and then colder temperatures return. We're talking single digits by the time we get to Christmas morning. So let's take a look at that chance for snow. This is next week. Our future track forecast model starting very late Tuesday night, showing you some precipitation moving in by Wednesday morning. Now here in southern Wisconsin, it could be a mix initially, but it will likely change to snow as colder weather moves in. By late in the day on Wednesday, that snow wraps up and moves on out of here. There could be some light accumulations with this particular system. Still some time to iron a few, or a few question marks out with this storm system and the exact track, but we could see maybe one to two inches of snow accumulation for most of the state. Behind this system, this may be the bigger story though. By the time we get to Christmas morning, this is next Friday. Temperatures will be in the single digits in the morning, even into the lunch hour. So very cold conditions returning. Now we are cold this morning, not quite that cold though. Here in Madison, our temperature has been hovering right around 10. Right now we're at 11. No wind to speak of though, which is good news. So no wind chill here. Temperatures across southern Wisconsin Wisconsin are significantly warmer to the west. You'll notice 20s west of Dane County. That's where some clouds are present right now. Those clouds are quickly advancing to the east, though, so any sun this morning is not going to last long. Our winds will be increasing through the day, so it will be breezy this afternoon, but temperatures will steadily climb into the 30s. We should top around 36 later on this evening, so our high temperature will be real late today. Tonight, temperatures will hold steady. There is that chance for some flurries or some freezing drizzle. Most of the weekend, though, looks dry with highs in the middle 30s. Sounds good. Thanks, Hattie. 606, studies show more than half of Black-owned businesses may not survive COVID-19. Right now, Black businesses, big and small, are struggling to stay open. Taylor Lazenby is live from a local beauty store with their story. Hi, Taylor. Hi, guys. Good morning. We are at Savannah Beauty Supply, and joining me now is Stephanie Starr. Stephanie, how are you? Pretty good, thanks. Good. Thanks so, Stephanie, you are one of the very few Black-owned hair stores here in Madison, correct? Yes. Just what what have you and your employees just been working through with the pandemic? We've just been trying to make sure that we um, safely service our customers, making sure that we maintain the six feet uh, distance while we help them. Uh, we've been helping customers over the phone as well. Have you had any difficulties just with the pandemic, keeping open, making sure things are still stocked properly? Have you had to go through any of those changes? We we had, um, we've seen some difficult times, but I think with the flexibility of everybody understanding, being understanding has been very, very great. And then lastly, Stephanie, with just knowing that you kind of cater to everything ethnic here, what are some of the things that you can get here in the store that maybe you can't get anywhere else? So you can get uh, shampoos, different types of shampoos that um, may a little may be harder to find. Um, we have a large selection of wigs, extensions. Um, hair products for all types of hair. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Stephanie. Well, guys, coming up in the next half hour, we're going to talk more to Stephanie and just how you can shop local and support black businesses right here in Madison. Reporting live in Madison, Taylor Lazenby, News 3 Now. All right. Thanks, Taylor. So you or someone you know who is struggling has a chance today to get one of more than 400 free meals that are being given out by the Boys and Girls Club of Dane County. They'll be handing out family-sized ham dinners from 3 to 6 today. You can go to any of the locations listed on your screen. Your entire family will also get a new face mask and some hand sanitizer. The first 100 families will also receive a gift card, plus be entered in a raffle with a chance to win a shopping spree. You do have to register ahead of time if you want that family dinner. You can still sign up right now. Just head to the Boys and Girls Club website. Restaurant owners are asking for more help from the government this morning to make it through the winter. Without assistance, a lot of us aren't going to exist in 2021.
We've heard that sentiment from several chefs this week. We're sharing part three of our conversation with the Madison restaurant community and talking with one of their colleagues, Francesca Hong, who's about to represent Madison in the state assembly. We'll hear what government needs to do to better support small business coming up in our next half hour. And every morning, we're highlighting how you can help support your favorite local restaurant this holiday season. Today, we're talking about Merchant. It's just off the Capitol Square. They are currently offering dine-in, curbside, pickup, and delivery right now. You can find all of their information to give them a call, maybe buy a gift card, along with a list of other restaurants you could help out this holiday season. That's up on channel3000.com. All right, 610 right now. Let's take a look at the roads and your first word traffic maps as we kick this Friday morning off. TGIF to all those joining us this morning. Pretty quiet start across Dane and Rock counties this morning. No major issues out on the roads right now, so you should be good to go if you are heading out the door right now. Your drive time's also moving along just fine. That's your first word traffic. 610 now coming up. The first COVID relief bill in months could get signed before the holidays. And coming up later, getting together with family and friends virtually for the holidays just got a little easier. How Zoom is helping out. Hello, I'm Mike Vendell, inventor of My Pillow. For a limited time, you can get premium My Pillows for the lowest price ever. Regularly $69.98, now only $29.98 with your promo code. Only $29.98. That's a $40 savings. Just like you, I had problems sleeping. That's why over 15 years ago, I invented my pillow. It took me two years to develop because I wanted it to have everything you'd ever want in a pillow. I made sure that you could adjust my patented fill so that you could have the exact support you need as an individual, regardless of your sleep position. I also wanted a pillow that stays healthy, so I made my pillow machine washable and dryable. For a limited time, you can get a premium my pillow for the lowest price ever. Regularly $69.98, now only $29.98. That's a $40 savings with your promo code. I back my pillow with a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. Not only that, I do all my own manufacturing in my home state of Minnesota. Before my pillow, sleeping was a nightmare. First night I got it, I slept like a baby. Just I was out, completely out. I sleep better. I wake up, I feel refreshed, I feel healthy. My pillow helps me get a good night's sleep so I can do my job in the morning. I personally guarantee that my pillow will be the most comfortable pillow you'll ever own. And as a way of saying thank you, I'm offering you my lowest price ever. Only $29.98 for a queen size premium my pillow. Call or go to mypillow.com to take advantage of Mike's best offer ever. Use the promo code on your screen to get a queen size my pillow premium for only $29.98, regularly $69.98. Get a king size for just $5 more. It's the lowest price ever. Only only $29.98. That's a $40 savings. This is a limited time offer and not available in stores. Don't delay. Order now. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. Millions of customers are leaving their providers and switching to Spectrum. And if you have satellite, it's not hard to see why. Because unlike satellite, Spectrum gives you all the services you need, like internet and TV from one provider. They do? Yeah, they do. And Spectrum has the fastest download speeds with the most reliable performance. Get Spectrum Internet with speeds at 200 megabits for $44.99 a month. Call 833-909-4499. Spectrum wins on TV, too. Unlike satellite, Spectrum doesn't have an ugly dish to install. And you get exclusive premium original content with Spectrum originals. Wow, really? Really? Plus, Spectrum has more free HD and free on demand. Get Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-909-4499. And unlike satellite providers, Spectrum doesn't have contracts or early termination fees. We'll even buy out your current contract up to $500. Switch to America's fastest growing internet TV and voice provider. Get Spectrum internet and TV from $44.99 a month each. Ask about our easy self-install options. Call 833-909-4499. Developing this morning at 614, government officials say they believe hackers have gotten into networks that control the country's nuclear weapons stockpile. The Energy Department and National Nuclear Security Administration say they found evidence that someone accessed their networks as part of an extensive attack on several government agencies. 
According to Politico, the hackers did cause some damage to systems at the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. Federal investigators say they still don't know if any classified data was accessed or stolen and likely won't for several weeks. 19 attorneys general across the country, including Wisconsin's AG Josh Call, are looking to change the federal government's stance on ghost guns. Ghost guns are when individual parts of a firearm are sold that can be assembled into a fully operational gun. The gunman who opened fire on employees at Paradigm in Middleton in 2018 used a ghost gun. Call says some people are building ghost guns as a way to get around regulations, making the gun harder to be traced. This is a way that individuals can try to get around uh, laws that would, in many cases, require background checks to be conducted. So somebody who's not permitted to own a firearm in Wisconsin, for example, may be able to purchase a part and get around the, the background check laws. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives adopted a position in 2015. They said it won't apply federal laws to ghost guns. Call says the AGs hope that the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York accepts their position and blocks the ATF's interpretation. Seven months since Congress passed its last pandemic package, lawmakers say they're close to finalizing a new bill. The bill includes a $300 weekly federal unemployment benefit for four months and a stimulus check of up to $700. It also includes money for schools, vaccine distribution, and help for small businesses. Lawmakers are also trying to avoid a government shutdown. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said last night the Senate won't leave town without a deal. Coming up in our next half hour, we'll hear why that relief bill could mean no more free testing here in Wisconsin. The next interior secretary could be the first Native American to lead the department. President-elect Joe Biden has reportedly selected Congresswoman Deb Haland as his nominee. An aide says House Speaker Nancy Pelosi gave Haland's selection her blessing. Democrats, though, have a thin majority in the House of Representatives right now, and it could get thinner without Haland. Dane County is expanding Walking Iron County Park and Wildlife Area. County Executive Joe Parisi says the county is acquiring 174 acres of land in the town of Mesomania. He says the county parks have seen a 25% increase in visits over the past seven months, and this new purchase will allow for more outdoor recreational opportunities. Well, that sounds like some good news. As we check in with Hattie McLean there, how's the forecast looking, Hattie? The forecast is looking great for getting outside today. We'll lose the sunshine if we do see it at all this morning, but temperatures will be a little bit warmer than normal this time of the year. Take a look at our statistics. Our forecast high is 36. That'll be real late this afternoon or into the evening, but the normal high is 29, so we're a good bit above that. Not even close to any records for the date. Sunrise not occurring till 724, and that sunset still pretty early in the evening at 424. Temperatures 12 here in Madison, 16 in Janesville, and 12 in Watertown, where clouds have moved in in areas west, temperatures are in the 20s. It's 22 in the Dells, 27 in Mineral Point, and close to 30 right now in Prairie du Chien. Winds are from the south, pretty light here in Madison, but they will be increasing as we go through the day. So expect a breezy day today. That'll create a little bit of a wind chill. It's going to be a cold day, so you'll want the winter gear today as you head to the bus stop. Temperatures will climb back into the low to mid-30s by the time you head home from school later on this afternoon. Coming up in the next half hour, we'll talk more about that weekend forecast. It's almost here. We do have a chance for some mixed precipitation. I'll have all the details in just a few minutes. Maybe the last snow before Christmas. Hattie, thank you. 618 now, the pandemic has changed the holiday season for all of us this year, and caregivers are especially feeling that impact. Naomi Ruckham has more on what families can do to still make this time of year special. She's suffering from some dementia, but she's still a happy, sweet, lovely person. Marjorie Connor is a caregiver for her 93-year-old mom while also working full-time. How has the pandemic impacted your state of well-being? But I'm in a constant state of stress, that's for sure. I'm constantly worried about the people in my household remaining safe and healthy. A new AARP survey shows 44% of caregivers say the pandemic has had a negative impact on their mental health. Their care recipients are also having a negative impact on their mental health. So they're facing that challenge of being isolated and having more isolation. Amy Goyer with AARP says the holidays add a lot of pressure. 77% of caregivers say the pandemic will affect their plans. For Marjorie, that means not seeing a lot of family. Thinking we're going to put the dining room table on the front porch and see everybody really far apart. 
AARP suggests talking with loved ones about doing phone calls or video chats or sending greeting cards. Focus on what is most meaningful for the holidays, adapt your traditions, and create new traditions. I inherited all of mom's decorations, and we put up our blow-up dogs out front, and we watch Christmas movies with mom. Marjorie says a thoughtful friend just sent her a gift certificate to order dinner. If you have friends who are caregiving, and they have a front porch or a back porch, Go over and have a glass of wine with them or a cup of tea or coffee or something. Just don't let caretakers get isolated because we do. She's grateful she has a great support system. Naomi Rockham, CBS News. So you will have an extra opportunity to reach out to your loved ones this holiday season. Starting today, Zoom will once again waive its 40-minute time limit for non-paying users. That'll last for two weeks, covering Christmas and New Year's. According to The Guardian, Zoom is waiving fees as a token of appreciation for all users uh, that they've, they've really seen an increase this year and to help families safely connect when they otherwise could not. 620 right now, original or extra crispy. Those are the two options you're used to when hearing about talking about KFC. But there's a new question about the kernel that has people scratching their head this morning. We're going to talk about it coming up. And coming up in our next half hour, what restaurant owners are asking of government leaders and just how high the stakes are. Stay with us. This portion of News 3 Now is sponsored by Wisconsin Vision. See more life. Your local Monk's Bar and Grill is still open for dine-in guests and convenient takeout. Monk's thanks you for continually supporting our locally owned business during these trying times. Visit monksbarandgrill.com to order online and easily view our menus. protect what's important to you from COVID-19, you help protect everyone in Wisconsin. Learn how you can stop the spread at dhs.wisconsin.gov slash COVID-19. Today's audio video security and automation technology is powerful in what it can do, but it can be complex with overwhelming options to choose from, and you may not know where to go for trusted advice. Well, we at Fearing's Audio Video Security have assembled a team of experts to guide you in choosing the right system for your business and home. Then we custom design and install easy-to-use solutions to advance your business, enhance your home, and simplify your life. Check us out at fearings.com. If your credit card debt is out of control, if you're in over your head in monthly payments, there's a secret the credit card companies don't want you to know. If you have more than $10,000 in credit card debt, you have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. That's bad news for the credit card companies, but it's great news for you. We're Credit Associates, and we're offering you free information on how to completely resolve your credit card debt with a monthly payment you can afford. To see how much you can save, call now, 1-800-936-5735. Don't declare bankruptcy. Don't consolidate. Give us 10 minutes, and we can save you thousands. After all, we depend on your success and offer a guarantee so there's no risk to call. Credit Associates. Live better. Better, debt free. Find out how easy it is by calling now. For the secret the credit card companies don't want you to know, call Credit Associates now and see how much money you could save for free. Call 1 800 936 5735. Burning the candle at both ends this holiday season? Well, if it's Z's you need, the holiday sale at Denver Mattress has you covered. Right now, get a $300 Furniture Row gift certificate with select Tempur-Pedic mattress sets. Or check out the budget-friendly Summit Queen, only $189.99. Shop our Doctor's Choice original lineup starting at only $569.99. Plus, five years no interest financing and free shipping right to your doorstep. The holiday sale on now at Denver Mattress. Your local Monk's Bar and Grill is still open for dine-in guests and convenient takeout. Monk's thanks you for continually supporting our locally owned business during these trying times. Visit monksbarandgrill.com to order online and easily view our menus. Well, here's something that got us talking this morning. You may not be able to unsee this one. Take a look. It's about the KFC logo in the picture of Colonel Sanders. 
I want you to focus on the markings right below his head. So is that a bow tie? Or is it a tiny stick <laughs> figure body? Leah, what do you think? You know, Chris, Colonel Sanders seems like a gentleman. Seems like a nice guy. He's professional. I'm gonna go with a I'm gonna go with a bow tie. He's dressed to impress, much like our Josh Brighter every day. <laughs> yeah, you guys, I think this is the first time I've worn a tie since I started working from home, but I had to because I had to wear my annual Christmas tie because I'm off next week. But yeah, I can't really unsee that. Now I see the stick figure, but at the same time, maybe it's just a bow tie that's tied really weird. I don't know, but now I can't even see a regular bow tie. All I see is that stick figure, Leah. <laughs> it's 2020. I think we, we have enough on our minds. We have enough big questions to be kind of thinking about right now. Hattie, I say we just ditch this. Craig Culver wouldn't make us question his bow tie. <laughs> Let's just head to Culver's. Always Culver's. Yeah. <laughs> I, we, all, we always find a way to uh, make me hungry in the morning. We're always talking about food. We can take any topic and turn it back to food, I think. We're very good at that. Well, whatever you're wearing today, you'll want to add a few extra layers this morning. It is chilly outside. Clear skies overnight have allowed temperatures to drop into the teens here in Madison. Clouds quickly approaching from the west, though, so it will be mostly cloudy today. Take a look at the numbers. 12 here in Madison, 28 in Mineral Point, though, so significantly warmer to the west. Here's our pet walk forecast. These guys don't have ties, but they sure have nice hats. Juju and Crunch in Madison. What a great pair. They look like they need a walk today. It'll be not too bad. 33 at 3 o'clock if you're headed to walk for later on this afternoon. The forecast looks dry. Thanks, Addie. Stick around, folks. More News 3 Now this morning, right after this. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Unity Point Health presents Things you need to know about healthcare workers. They're real people just like us. They have houses and families and they like to eat spaghetti. At least I bet they like to eat spaghetti. They care for everybody, even people they don't know. They might worry about getting sick, their family, their patients. Tell them thank you by wearing a mask and social distancing. Thank you, healthcare workers! Unity Point Health Meritor, a partner of UW Health. Know how much you matter to this world. Let's holiday. Let's light it up and dish it up. Let's stuff turkeys as well as stockings and never miss out on the mistletoe. Let's turn fresh into festive and festive into flavorful. Let's fill the kitchen with holiday sear and make memories over a cookie dough covered table. Let's carve it and share it, then savor it with a side and know where I'd rather be. Let's make a toast to what truly matters most because the holidays are here and no one does the holidays like festival foods. Stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour. I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Paraswabs. When I met Dr. Ginnaker and he introduced me to Paraswabs and I saw how effective they were and how easy they were to use, I knew we had to share it with the world. Paraswabs was clinically studied to whiten natural teeth as well as stained caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so effective, it works on stains caused by coffee, tea, red wine, and even smoking. For those of you who have that one stained tooth that's darker than the rest, Power Swabs can target that area using swab precision. I really love the fact that you're able to go individually on each tooth and make sure that it's gonna be wider. So this holiday season, if you have yellowing between your teeth or coffee stains near your gum line, just snap, swab, and smile. And each five minute application, you'll see whiter teeth. So stop whitening your smile the old fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes or an hour and start using the power swabs five minute solution just snap swab and smile after just seven days the results were awesome power swabs was easy to use every day and each day i could see it better and better and from beginning to end it's definitely wider uh, and they look clean they feel clean um 
And people have made comments about it, which is nice. Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. This holiday season, order Power Swabs and receive up to 40% off the retail price. Get a free Power Swabs Quick Stick Pen with your order. The Quick Stick Pen is your on-the-go solution to help prevent stains from adhering to your teeth after drinking coffee, tea, or even after smoking. And in addition to saving up to 40% on your purchase and your free Quick Stick Pen, get free shipping by ordering now. Dial the number on your screen or visit powerswabs.com today. Right now, a second vaccine could get approval from the FDA this morning. How this would help our rural communities and loved ones in assisted living facilities. Plus, a plea from restaurants to government leaders. Part three of our conversation to save Madison's food scene. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us on this Friday. We begin with developing news. The FDA is expected to approve another vaccine for emergency use authorization, and it could happen as soon as this morning. It's something we're keeping our eye on right now. An advisory committee has recommended the FDA give Moderna's vaccine the go-ahead for distribution. It's 94% effective and will be easier to transport and store. This would also make it more accessible to people in rural areas. We'll have any updates as they come in this morning on News 3 Now. This would also be good for nursing homes. A partnership between the CDC, Walgreens, and CVS will allow nursing homes to use the Moderna vaccine to start protecting older folks and staff. That won't be able to start, though, until after Christmas. More than a quarter of COVID-19 deaths in Wisconsin happened in long-term care facilities, but the timeline for getting everyone a vaccination who wants one in the state's 5,000 long-term care facilities is still up in the air. Wisconsin is one of several states expecting fewer doses of Pfizer's vaccine when the second shipment comes in next week. This is concerning some health officials about delays for second doses when it comes to health care workers. Senior Trump administration officials are downplaying that risk, citing misunderstanding about supply and changes to the delivery schedule. Pfizer says its production levels haven't changed and no planned shipments have been delayed. The company says it has a stockpile of doses waiting to be distributed, but don't have instructions on where they should go. So far, just over a thousand of Wisconsin's 400,000 healthcare workers have gotten their first dose. The state can't require that you get a COVID vaccine, but your employer can. And if you don't comply, they can keep you out of the workplace. Employers are entitled and required to ensure a safe workplace, which can mean requiring vaccinations. The Americans with Disabilities Act says employers can't require workers to get a medical exam, but vaccines are considered a medical exam, giving employers the go-ahead to get a shot. There are some exemptions, though, for people with disabilities or people with, quote, sincerely held religious beliefs. Your kids could soon be going back to class in person next semester. That's an option Madison schools are considering right now. The district held a virtual Q&A session for families last night. The journal, the state journal, rather, reports the district is now considering having students come in for in-person learning four days a week. There would also be an online learning option for families who don't feel comfortable sending their kids back. As we reported earlier this week, the district is falling short on its own me metrics for reopening. That includes the number of families who would bring their kids back and staffing availability. The district says it will have a plan in place by January 8th. Some good news on the coronavirus front. For the first time in two months, contact tracers in Dane County say they can finally catch up. A steady decline in new cases has helped relieve some of the immediate pressure, and that will let contact tracers move out of their crisis model. Health experts say though we are still in a significant health crisis. The DHS says a majority of Wisconsin's counties are still at very or critically high levels for how the virus is spreading. There are some improvements though in the seven day averages for new cases and the percent positivity. Until vaccines are widely available, you gotta keep wearing your mask and staying distant from others. We might lose our free testing sites here in Wisconsin if congressional leaders in Washington don't pass a new bill with money for local government. The latest deal has no money for states right now. But state leaders say it's the federal CARES money that's funding our testing and keeping small businesses open. Money from March's CARES Act will expire on New Year's Eve, and there's no statewide plan to provide more relief since Wisconsin's legislature decided not to meet until after the new year. We'll hear more on the stimulus negotiations on Capitol Hill coming up in the morning sprint. All right, 633 now. Hattie McLean with our first warm weather for the weekend. Hey there, Hattie. 
Good morning, Leah. Yeah, looking pretty nice for the weekend temperature wise. There's just one speed bump to get through tonight into early Saturday morning where there could be some mixed precipitation. Take a look this morning at weather track. You'll notice that there are some clouds definitely moving in from the west and some precipitation moving across Minnesota. That's our next weather maker and it is going to bring a chance for some light snow flurries or just a little bit of freezing drizzle to southern Wisconsin tonight. Take a look at your future track forecast model again starting at 9 30 this evening there will be a narrow band most likely of some precipitation moving through northwestern Wisconsin most likely snow but there could be a little bit of drizzle or freezing drizzle mixing in that band weakens as it moves across the state but there's still a chance that we could see some light precipitation here for southern Wisconsin especially as we head into early Saturday morning precipitation chances wind down as we head towards the middle of the day here's a look at potential accumulation we're really talking very light accumulation if any across southern Wisconsin and there may be a half an inch to up to an inch across parts of far north central Wisconsin. Here's a look at our current conditions this morning. We are still cold. Even though clouds are moving into Madison, it is 12. There is a wind out of the south at 3 right now, but not enough to send a wind chill at all. Uh, take a look at temperatures across the area. It's significantly warmer to the west. Temperatures are almost 20 degrees warmer in Prairie du Chien and Mineral Point than they are here in Madison, and that's due to clouds. Those weather track uh, maps showing you the clouds spreading in from the west. They will replace the sunshine, even areas east of Madison, pretty shortly. Here's a look at your future track wind speeds. Winds are from the south this morning. They'll be increasing to 10 to 20 miles an hour through the day. Even though it's a south wind and will be a little warmer, that will likely keep just a bit of a chill in the air today. 36 is our high here in Madison with mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures will be very similar in those surrounding communities. Sauk City tops at 34, Sun Prairie at 36. Our extended forecast, again, that mix possible early Saturday morning, otherwise dry for the remainder of the weekend. We should see some more sunshine on Sunday. Temperatures stay mild for the first part of next week, but there is a chance for snow on Wednesday. Mm, snow before Christmas Eve. All right, Hattie, thank you very much. No way forward. That's how some of Madison's most well-known chefs are describing their current situation. And if you'd like to help, the holidays are the time to do it. Here's what they're asking. Now I want to ask Tammy a question. Tammy is with us from the Old Fashioned and Harvest. Uh, how has this impacted every type of restaurant, both new and established, like the Old Fashioned? You know, first of, I want to say the community has been incredibly supportive of, of both restaurants. So I want to put that up because there's so much doom and gloom over this whole thing. And, you know, we're doing what we can to survive and keep a handful of employees employed, but it's bigger than that. We need federal assistance, and we're not getting any sort of help or talk or conversations about that at this point. And it's dire. It's so dire, I can't even find words to explain how bad it is. I don't sleep at night. I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. I get here by 7, and I leave at 9 or 10. And we're doing 20% of the business we used to do, but it's, you know, we're, we're all working times harder and still not making it. Francesca Hong, you were recently elected to represent our community, um, and you're also a restaurant owner. Uh, do you think the government has done enough to help out restaurants? Absolutely not. We've needed bold, decisive leadership throughout this entire thing to help us navigate, to help leaders who are gathered here today um, help their communities, their restaurant uh, communities, um, the people who are, it's not just jobs for them. For many of us, it's our careers. And too many businesses, including micro businesses, and specifically businesses owned by people of color and folks in rural areas have been left behind. And PPP loans and EIDL loans are not enough. Small businesses, they need direct relief from government, not loans from private lenders, subsidies to help cover payroll, fixed costs, all of that during this crisis. And it's really reckless that we've had government who can't have, who can't provide the type of universal guidelines that we need to be able to keep our employees safe, to be able to keep our communities safe. So lack of real direction, lack of uh, cohesive messaging about how we needed to combat this pandemic first in order for us to even have a chance at an economic recovery has been really abysmal. We're angry, this is a co collective struggle and, and we need help. And we're not the type of folks who like to ask for it, but we're here now and we need folks to listen. Chef Patrick, I wanna ask you, what do you think your industry needs right now? Uh, like everyone else said, we need, we need direction from the federal level, that's just not happening. We're not the people that want to do things like GoFundMe, right? The best thing that the community can do to support us is to just 
buy food and support us. You know, come to our restaurants and get takeout, get curbside, uh, buy the gift packages that all of us are putting together. You know, support us in that way, like we support every event and organization that asks us. Without assistance, a lot of us aren't going to exist in 2021. So we are continuing to highlight how you can help support your favorite local spot this holiday season. Today we're talking about a pig and fur coat over on the Near East Side on Willie Street. They're open for curbside pickup and for delivery right now. We do have their contact information. Here it is. There's their phone number. We also have their website along with a place to get gift cards if you're interested in handing out gift cards for the holidays. All of that is up right now on channel3000.com. But a pretty dire message from our chefs right there, Chris. Yeah, they need our help right now. They need us to buy those gift cards to give us gifts this holiday season. They need us to order pickup. They need us to come into the store. It's up to us because right now they're not getting a lot of help from Washington. They're focused on the Restaurants Act, which is just not gaining the momentum. Uh, it would provide $120 billion in grants to small restaurants and bars. And uh, right now, it's just it, it's not looking too great for that bill. So they need some more help from us here locally and from their lawmakers in Washington. And we've talked all week about some of the state aid that they're going to be getting. Uh, there is a grant program from the state government handing down $20,000 to about 2,000 different restaurants across across Wisconsin. But these owners that I spoke with said that's simply not enough to try and stay alive for the rest of the winter into the rest of the pandemic. They need everything they can get right now. Excellent reporting this week, by the way, Leah. Thank you. Black-owned businesses have really been hit hard uh, by the coronavirus pandemic, really more than other companies overall. 41% of most black-owned businesses across the country shut down between February and April. Taylor Lazenby is live from one of the businesses that you can support during the holidays. Hi, Taylor. Hi guys, we are live inside of Savannah Beauty Supply Store and joining me now is Stephanie Saar. She is the owner of the store. Stephanie, how are you this morning? Good, good, thank you. Good, so Stephanie, how long have you guys been here in Madison? So the, we've been open for five and a half years. And through that, and now going through the business and now with the pandemic, how have you guys just faced adversity through some of the problems that you've had to face? Just uh, making changes, um, you know, Every day we have to make new changes to make sure that it's safe for our customers to come in. So yeah, just making changes and everybody being flexible with the changes. And Tiffany, how important is it for your customers to know that you're still up and running during the pandemic and that your doors aren't closed? Yes, it's it's uh, very important because we are still here for for people. So um, we've we've made significant changes so it is safe. We allow only a certain amount of people in the store at a time but yes we have we are still here for people perfect and Tiffany for those that don't know where exactly are you located and what are your hours of operation right now so we're at 1712 Egan Road so we're in the Prince to Club Shopping Center um, right now our temporary store hours are 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. and that's every day so that's Monday through Sunday wow okay well Stephanie thank you so much and we appreciate you opening your doors for us this morning and guys, to find more information about Stephanie's store and other stores that you can shop locally right now during the pandemic and through this holiday season, we'll have all that information on our website at channel3000.com. Reporting really? live in Madison, Taylor Lazenby, News 3 Now. Really great work, Taylor. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's take a look at the roads right now as we take a look at all of southern Wisconsin. We're not seeing any major issues. We did have one breakdown just pop up on the southeast side of the Madison Metro right now. We'll take you there. There's a stalled vehicle, I-39 northbound, right after the Beltline. But other than that, we're not seeing any major issues across town. Let's take a live look outside right now at 642. Pretty quiet out there. More clouds in store. But we're going to talk about some flurry chances coming up in your forecast. on sales event ad. Sales event ads are usually boring. Is this boring? There's a nice little present. You love your business. Every day, you coddle it, pamper it. Maybe the growing pains were hard, but you put everything into it, nurtured it, and fed it so it would grow. It's only natural that you'd want to protect it with the right insurance. Pamper your business with a policy from West Bend and wrap it in the cozy warmth of the silver lining. 
We drive everywhere to help our son reach his dream of becoming an elite swimmer. So we enrolled in the Know Your Drive program with American Family Insurance. It gives us discounts for safe driving and other benefits like emergency roadside service, which comes in handy no matter where his dreams take him. With Know Your Drive, save up to 20% and get closer to your dreams. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Is your credit score getting in the way of the things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. I love to equal the playing field. I love to help people and allow them to feel like they are powerful instead of powerless. We're with our clients every step of the way. Gingris Thompson and Walks. What happens when you combine a girl's best friend with her favorite aphrodisiac? Le'Veon Chocolate Diamonds. So exquisite, you can almost taste it. Only Le'Veon creates jewelry with chocolate diamonds. Uniquely set in strawberry gold, these rare diamonds are melting hearts the world over. Just remember to indulge responsibly. Available now at Diamond Select, downtown Stoughton. This all looks very Hollywood, but guess what? This is a Nissan sales event ad. Sales event ads are usually boring. Is this boring? There's a nice little present. On the next slide before, it's the sounds of the season with Dueling Pianos, a musical treat. And Michael Bruno goes behind the screens for Children's Theater of Madison's virtual production of A Christmas Carol. This is an icon in the community. Now, for the first time in nearly three decades, this building is seeing new life with a major renovation and restoration on the way. A Janesville landmark reborn, Saturday on News 3 Now at 10. We're back at 646. Today is National Ugly Christmas Sweater Day, as you can tell from what Hattie and I are wearing this morning. But we're also celebrating a very exciting anniversary here at News 3 Now. Today marks eight years since our Leah Lynchide started working yeah. for the company. Congrats, Leah. Yeah. You Congratulations. Guys. How'd you sneak that in there? I didn't even know today was my work anniversary. <laughs> Boy. Well, come on, you didn't know? Oh, look at that face. That's the face of a young 22-year-old intern. <laughs> just barely, just barely coming out of college, excited to start working at Morgan Murphy. Boy, this is so nice of you guys. Oh, wow. Does it feel like eight years, Leah? No, it doesn't. You know, I am lucky enough to work at this small family-owned company. Um, this is my home. I grew up in Wisconsin. This is my home market. My family is just 45 minutes away. Um, I've been treated really, really well here. Morgan Murphy, News 3 Now, is like my family. So um, I don't have any plans of going anywhere. This is, this is my home. Uh, I'm really lucky to have found the best station in the world to work for, in my humble oh. opinion, and the best co-workers to work for. I can't believe you guys surprised me. That's so nice. Well, here's to eight more, hopefully many, many more. And uh, thank you for everything that you do here, Leah, and happy anniversary. Oh, thank you, you guys. Patty, I'm starting to creep up toward you. You just celebrated your 20-year anniversary, <laughs> didn't you? <ya? laughs> 20, yeah, 20 years. It is a great uh, company to work for, you right, Lee, and we're happy to have you as part of the family. Let's get you up to date on the weather conditions this morning. It's a little cooler outside this morning, for sure, here in Madison. Scrape alert in effect this morning. If you park your car outside, you'll need to plan a few extra minutes to clear the windshield. We do have some frost here in Madison. Now, parts of southern Wisconsin are significantly warmer, and there may not be any frost in Mineral Point and Prairie du Chien, where temperatures are actually pretty close to 30. 30 degrees right now, but clear skies overnight have a lot of temperatures to drop into the teens here in Madison and areas to the east. Take a look at our wind speeds. Winds are from the south and they have been increasing to the west. They will steadily increase through the day, so it will be breezy. Wind chill not a huge factor this morning, but this afternoon, even though temperatures will be mild, it'll still feel like it's in the 20s when you factor in that wind. So a little bit of a chill in the air today. We have a holiday forecast coming up. There is one more chance for snow. I'll have all the details coming up. Thanks, Abby. Stick around. The morning sprint is coming up after the break. But first, if you have a little kid turning three soon, let us know so we can show their picture on TV. Thanks for watching News 3 Now this morning.
Lucos 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Furnish your home in good taste with Pletz Furniture. Shop for new ideas from a large selection of quality name brands in stock and ready for delivery, including Lazy Boy, Sealy, and Amish Made Furniture. Pletz Furniture in downtown Baraboo. Quality furniture at lowest prices. Do you take daily prescription pain medications, but they don't help enough? Do you want more options to better manage chronic pain? University of Wisconsin-Madison Stamp Study offers free, safe, therapeutic programs to address chronic pain. The programs occur once a week for eight weeks and pays up to $340. Call 608-212-6902 today. Again, that's 608-212-6902. We pray each day, may you come home and be okay, for now we wait for you, for you to come home. Ladies, check it out. So strong. So not ripped. What are we talking about? That's the hefty, ultra strong bag. Hefty, hefty, hefty! Gimme. Give me the bag? Get hefty, ultra strong at a low price. I got your back, you got mine. Think about you all the time. Together we can come through. That's what love's made of. A little taste of home is worth sharing. Think you're managing your moderate to severe ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease? Are you okay? I did. But even when I was there, I never knew when my symptoms would keep us apart. So I talked to my doctor and learned, Humira is for people who still have UC or Crohn's symptoms after trying other medications. And Humira helps people achieve remission that can last, so you can experience few or no symptoms. Humira can lower your ability to fight infections. Serious and sometimes fatal infections, including tuberculosis and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common, and if you've had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections, or have flu-like symptoms or sores. Don't start Humira if you have an infection. Be there for you and them. Ask your gastroenterologist about Humira. With Humira, Remission is possible. Furnish your home in good taste with Pletz Furniture. Shop for new ideas from a large selection of quality name brands in stock and ready for delivery, including Lazy Boy, Sealy, and Amish Made Furniture. Pletz Furniture in downtown Baraboo. Quality furniture at lowest prices. Help put a bow on 2020 with the Henry Vilas Zoo. Six fifty-two. Time for the morning sprint. Developing at this hour, the FDA is expected to approve another vaccine for emergency use authorization, and it could happen as soon as this morning. An advisory committee has recommended the FDA give Moderna's vaccine the go-ahead for distribution. It is ninety-four percent effective and will be easier to transport and store. This would make it more accessible to people in rural areas. Finding out if you've been exposed to COVID could be at the tips of your fingers next week. The state plans to roll out a voluntary smartphone app, which will let you know if you've been in close contact with another person who is tested positive. The app will be free. It uses Bluetooth and doesn't collect your device's location, so users will be kept anonymous. Uh, on uh, channel3000.com, you can hear from a researcher who has been working on the app. There are no more ICU beds available in all of Southern California. The state is now using its mass fatality program where 60 refrigerated units and 5,000 body bags are available in some of the hardest hit counties. NPR reports 300 health care workers have been vaccinated and thousands more are still waiting. Vice President Mike Pence and Second Lady Karen Pence will get the COVID vaccine today. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi won't be too far behind. Both said they plan to get the vaccine in the coming days. A memo from the Capitol's physician says all members of Congress will be eligible to get the vaccine. It's been seven months since Congress passed its last COVID spending package, but lawmakers say they're still getting closer to compromising on a new one. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says the Senate won't leave town without a deal. Congressional leaders are also facing another major deadline. They'll have to pass a larger spending bill by midnight tonight to keep the government from shutting down on Saturday.
Breaking overnight, Iran is starting construction on a site at its underground nuclear facility. You can see that right here in these new satellite images from the Associated Press. The AP reports Iran has not publicly acknowledged any new construction. The development comes as tension builds between Iran and the U.S. over its atomic program. The Dane County Board is deciding not to make a decision on cutting jail beds. Instead, the board voted to have two county committees workshop the resolution. The state journal reports supervisors want the measure to have more power before making a decision. The proposal would have asked the sheriff to cut 50 jail beds once a seven-story tower is completed. It's part of that $148 million jail reconstruction project. New information this morning shows black children are six times more likely to be shot to death by police than their white peers. And researchers think those findings are likely an underestimate. The findings were published in the journal Pediatrics and looked at police shootings across a 16-year period. Hispanic children were three times more likely to be shot than white children. Your Honda may be one of one and a half million being recalled this morning. The recall covers the models listed on your screen. The drive shaft can break in some, and there's a software flaw and window switches that can overheat in others. Packers, they're gonna welcome an additional 250 fans into Lambeau this weekend. They'll be healthcare and public safety partners. The team says the invite is a thank you and a show of appreciation for all these workers have done during the pandemic. The organization expects to have up to 800 fans in the stands for Saturday night's game against the Panthers. Kickoff is at 715. Final look at traffic at 655 this morning. One stall vehicle on the northbound side of the interstate just past the belt line. Not seeing any delays from that quite yet. The rest of Madison looking good so far on this Friday morning. No other major issues to report. That's your first one traffic. And a live look outside from our Edgewater Sky camera. A pretty pink sky this morning here in Madison before the clouds move in. Heading out the door, you may need to scrape the windshield. Temperatures are chilly and there is some frost here in Madison. We'll climb to highs though in the mid-30s late today with mostly cloudy skies. Here's a look at that extended forecast. We do have one more chance for snow in the forecast. There's a chance for a light mix overnight tonight into Saturday. And then another chance for some snow Tuesday night into Wednesday. That'll take us into the Christmas holiday holiday when temperatures cool down quite a bit. Nighttime lows drop into the single digits Christmas morning with daytime highs only near 20 degrees. Thanks very much, Hattie. And thanks for joining us this morning, folks. Have a great weekend.